We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, The Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, July 26. The Achilles Heel of the Average Home. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Malachi 4, verse 5 and 6. There was one family we left out of our first family's review yesterday, and while it might sound sacrilegious even to suggest it, the family that our Lord Jesus grew up in needs to come under the same scrutiny we gave the others. What letter grade would you give to Jesus and his mother Mary, his stepfather Joseph, and all his stepbrothers and stepsisters? After all, wouldn't they be considered the ultimate first family? Do you remember that Jesus grew up in a pre-existing family, and I don't mean the one in heaven, after beginning his ministry when Jesus returned to his hometown of Nazareth, the villagers whispered to one another, Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? Mark 6, 3. Were these the sons and daughters of Joseph and Mary? We would conclude that were it not for the fact that in his dying agony, Jesus commended his mother to his closest disciple, John, see John 19, verse 26 and 27. If Mary had had other children, there would have been no need to make provision for her loving care. Thus, we can conclude from the gospel record that Joseph had children by a previous marriage, before he, the older widower, and his young bride were joined in holy wedlock. So how was it in the childhood home of our Lord? Loving parents? Yes. Happy siblings? Perhaps not. The haughty and bossy way Jesus' older stepbrothers treated him as an adult is a huge clue to how they must have treated him when he was a boy. See John 7, 3-5, and Mark 3, 31-35. His brothers felt that Jesus' influence went far to counteract theirs. He possessed a tact, which none of them had, or desired to have. Being older than Jesus, they felt that he should be under their dictation, Often they threatened and tried to intimidate him. They were jealous of him and manifested the most decided unbelief and contempt. The Desire of Ages, page 87. Amazing. God got to choose his own family, and the family he chose was crippled with the same Achilles heel as ours, vulnerable and weak at the heart of the most sacred, covenanted of all relationships. So if God chose them, surely he can choose us too. To be unhappy forever? No. God dreams of healing our families here, even before we join his family above. Malachi 4, verse 6. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the Chosen.